You buttered the popcorn. You've burned your latest home movie to DVD, and you've chained your family and friends to the couch. Now it's time for them to sit back, relax, and enjoy your latest ma- Wait a minute. What's wrong with this thing? You tried turning the DVD player on and off. Now you try cleaning the disc. You're even ready to blame it on the remote control. But before you pull your computer into the living room for your world premiere viewing, let the hostages go, because you and I need to have a little chat. Did you burn that DVD on your computer? Did you play it on your computer? Did you print a pretty label for it? Now, did you put that label on the disc? That's the problem. Never do that again. CDs hold about 700 megabytes on them. They're stored in little data pits as ones and zeros all around the disc in circles like a record. A laser moves up and down reading the data pits as the CD spins. A DVD holds 4.7 gigabytes, and that's over six and a half times more information. Wait a minute. These discs are the same size. That means the data pits on the DVD are smaller and the laser needs to be more accurate to read them. The nice printed label you made may actually be throwing the disc off balance when it spins. Now on a CD, that's okay, a little bit of wobble's fine, but on a DVD, the laser can't find the information it needs to play back your video correctly. Now you know why your video won't play back, but does that mean you can't have pretty covers on your disc? Yes. No, of course not. There are all kinds of solutions, from special burners to DVD printers. We'll put some product suggestions in the links below, and save some popcorn for us. A DVD holds 7.7 .7 billion gigabytes. And save some popcorn for us. Tiger. Too much.